this is about um, a module uh, that my colleague Christian developed, uh, Orchard Core, that, uh, well, about having a UI kit. So where this whole thing um, started from is that um, during one of our, our client projects, we needed, uh, we needed to standardize uh, UI elements, uh, both on the front end and both on the, on the admin area. As I'm talking about uh, text fields, uh, drop downs, uh, stuff like that. And not just trivial ones, of course, but having text fields in a lot of configuration. Um, and once you go beyond the, the very basics uh, with styling and with functionality, of course, this uh, becomes a bit more complex. And so we, so we figured that, uh, well, uh, we could just centralize these things and have an open source module about it. Now, of course, um, there are a lot of uh, UI kits and, um, and front-end frameworks out there. Uh, this is also building on, on Bootstrap naturally um, and everything else built into Orchard already. So uh, how it looks like is that um, there, is a, there is a showcase page built in uh, that you can open, which well, showcases all the elements that, that are built into, module, into the module. Uh, and these are these currently. Uh, this is the, the default styling built on the default uh, bootstrap styling, but of course you can make it prettier. Uh, you can see it goes from, from basic text boxes to a bit more complex text boxes. Uh, yeah, having a placeholder text and, and uh, such a required indicator is surprisingly tricky. Um, and text boxes in all kinds of other configurations checkboxes and drop the and drop downs. This can also be a bit prettier if you style it. As, you, uh, as a contrast, here it is um, in the context of that unnamed client project, uh, where you can see that while well, it looks a bit different, uh, it probably looks a bit nicer, uh, but nevertheless, of course, um, there are classes and everything that you can uh, appropriately target. And how this looks from the codes is uh, quite simple to use. It's, um, it's very natural to use. Uh, everything is, um, is just uh, tech helpers. Uh, can you see Visual Studio now? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, so this is the code of the, of the showcase page. You see, we just have an editor uh, tag configured for, uh, for text box or checkbox or drop down with a couple of, um, uh, of parameters at this. So uh, pretty much that's it. Uh, in itself, it doesn't do much, of course. Uh, this, is, uh, this is only useful if you are actually building a UI with it, but uh, it was quite useful in our project. Uh, so we hope that it can be useful for others as well. Questions? So these are tag helpers. Yeah, well, it's only tag helpers. One tag are they helper. more than tag helpers? Um, what do you mean? Are they how specific to Orchard are they? Oh, like that. Um, actually, I don't think it has too much to do with Orchards. Um, oh, there's probably something with shapes. Yeah, there are shapes also. Uh, yeah, but why are we actually using shapes? Or maybe it's because by doing that there is a bridge for liquid also? Uh, probably, yeah, uh, probably just that, uh, because I don't think we use anything from, from the base shape developer actually. Um, yeah, so it's, it's probably just for liquid. Okay, and what does the module have also specific to Orchard? I think I, is there a startups? Yes. Uh, oh yeah. Well, well uh, obviously it, it integrate, integrates with Orchard, um, and and we have the two features for the showcase page and uh, and the UI kit itself. Uh, but otherwise, I don't think there is too much uh, Orchard specific here. Well, we are building Orchard apps, so it was natural to do it like that. Not uh, mm -hmm. not as a okay. So it provides a set of editors and form elements, HTML elements that you can 
Elastag helpers on the back end and on the front end to render the same. Um, so is, on the admin, you create custom pages with that because how would you integrate it otherwise with your standard content editor? Yeah. Or do you have uh, create new fields? Yeah, um, and good point. Um, first of all, this is um, this is more like the beginning. Uh, so we we needed these uh, these um, fields, but uh, we'll most possibly add a lot more because, of course, this is not not everything there is on the web yet. Uh, and secondly, yes, um, this is um, this is useful if you want to build your own admin experience. Uh, in our case, um, there are whole sections of the admin area that are completely custom. Uh, some administrator users or users who access the admin side don't actually have to access anything built into Orchard from the admin side, uh, but we needed um, the proper branding for the whole thing and also to adhere to specific styling guidelines. Uh, so this is this is useful if you want to build your own UI um, and and your own fields and everything. Of course, um, if you are using built-in building fields and parts, uh, then well, you will need to override a lot of things. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. 